What is up guys, it's Slay here and welcome back to another World of Warships Legends gameplay and today we are back in the tier 6 Japanese destroyer Yokokazi and this is by far some good 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 crack inventions here and Yokokazi has been presented in one of my videos as a I believe the second Kraken Cook video, Aster the Asashio, I believe, or was it the third one? But anyways, guys, Yukikaze, you already know the drill. This ship is really does not belong at tier six. It's pretty much a tier seven Kagero, only a better version of it, but without the uh, reload or the torque reload booster. Which honestly, with that and uh, maybe like. A lower reload of torps it would probably be a broken ship but anyways i mean the ship's already broken by itself i mean at tier six it's literally one torp launcher at tier five ships and literally any ship goes away but you know it's pretty common for some ships to be at a wrong tier and you know making uh, a mess in the the one the up and up down matchmaking that uh war gaming has but anyways uh let's talk about how uh are we gonna get this cracking and how i've been grinding these past days 1v1 rank was a uh, success in the uh kuma the kuma is a pretty good tier 3 rank ship i had fun in now, tier 4 rank is coming, 1v1s, and I still haven't decided which ship I'm going to pick, but that's fine because I somehow try to leave everything at the last minute and just YOLO it anyways. Just YOLO a pick a ship and hopefully make it to rank 1 that same night but we're going to right there for the queen elizabeth here for our first kill and only consider that a yoink i mean this game is pretty much yoink best to be honest with you we're gonna yoink i believe two kills but in my defense i've been really really yoinked these past weekends with crack and cut videos but i kind of don't want to put them up because they're kind of lackluster to be honest it's more of a kraken worthy video if i got into kraken but anyways i did post this yukikaze video I and mean, it's really nothing special when it's a yukikaze but i just wanted to upload it because well i did get a kraken cut video and a yukikaze and i actually wanted to present it as a crack and here we're gonna a ground here with this island and i still don't understand why the kabuki hasn't sent any torps my way but uh well we're not going to complain there and we're just going to continue on i mean i hope you guys are having a wonderful wonderful weekend it is tuesday night when i'm recording this video and this video will probably be up wednesday morning probably Wednesday afternoon, depending on your time zone. I hope you guys are having a really good start to the week. We're going to send some torch to the North Carolina. I believe... I believe we don't hit him since he does turn out right here. No, he is the focus. Um, well, he's getting focus at the moment. I believe this is going to be our first ship we yoink by accident here. And well, look around and I'm just like, oh, um, I didn't mean to do that, but hey, we'll take it. Three kills, 19,282 damage. Well, that's really interesting. Uh, it was this going to be a low damage Kraken video? Uh, I don't know. We'll we'll see. So, Yukikaze, if you haven't been 
keeping up with the updates. I mean, it's literally what, been out for two days already. There is an Ozzy Lane Yukikaze gunboat version of this ship, and it's pretty much this ship with the same torps and same torp damage, but longer range, slower knots for this ship. But it does have faster reload when it comes to its guns. I believe it's six seconds compared to this ship, which I believe has a seven second reload on this build. So I definitely am going to pick up the Ozzy Lane Yokokazi as well. I kind of want to own both of them because, you know, it's best to have the ship now than trying to buy it off the crate. That's going to give you a 1% chance of pulling it off cough. Um, yeah, so we, right there, we're going to yoink the kill off the cruiser here, and it was on the French destroyer. Uh, I believe the Trento is going to smoke up here, and I'm trying to look for my fifth kill here for the Kraken. I mean, 20,000 damage, really? Is this really all I got in the Yikakazi? Well, Stay tuned, and maybe we'll get more damage for that Kraken video. But, let's see. Five ships left. I have some four of them. There's a destroyer that went down in our team. Mm, potentially. Potentially we could get a Kraken here on a battleship. Maybe not. Who knows? So, I also wanted to give a little update on future videos there is a battleship kraken video i got this weekend and there is a tier 5 destroyer kraken video i also have to upload but that might come later in the week who knows if i don't get busy of course cough cough i don't get busy and i uh, get lazy editing these videos perhaps but Let's continue on with our journey with the Yukikaze. Yukikaze, whoa. That was a stealth torque. And Yukikaze has a really good concealment and torp speed to pretty much yellow torp. And that's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to yellow torp this Gneisno. It's going to not really fade him, which is weird. I mean, when you think about it, you see a destroyer, first thing that comes to mind is get out of the way. But this Gneisenau is actually going to not be faded by my presence of seeing a ship that has really good torps. And I'm going to demonstrate this right now, and you're going to see. You'll be the judge of this, but it might be a player that was tunnel visioning and... That's one of the mistakes that newer players do in the game is tunnel vision. And I have mentioned this before, tunnel vision will cost you a lot of games because of how powerful it is when it comes as a new player. So we're going to send towards here straight line, as you can see. Definitely going to to turn in or out, does not matter, slow down, brakes. The secondaries are going off, he is 3.4 kilometers away. And... Well, yeah. I mean, what'd you expect? Kraken Unleashed, Devastating Strike, and 71,167 damage. Well, that's more like it. Now, we do have a Tarento here in broadside against Japanese guns. And to demonstrate why the guns are powerful as well. And oh, pretty good. One Citadel, 4,000 damage, but he gets behind the island, unfortunately, and we can't get our kill here. So, let's see, oh, he's pushing forward, we're going to push forward, and we do have one smoke left, just in case we do, you know, run into problems here. And we're going to try to Citadel him once again, and we do, we get... One Sladell there. And, uh, yeah, they kind of take them out. The Mutsu takes them out. And we're going to smoke up against these an Asian cruiser. Um, I'm not going to risk trying to pronounce that ship, unfortunately. But, um, 
I kind of went for the yellow here, yellow charts here to see how the quality ship was, and due to the fact that it has the a second 152 millimeter gun reload, well, it was a little risk. To be honest, I might have, could have died if these torques didn't hit him, but yeah. Unfortunately. He's going to turn in my torps and I'm going to damage control that fire and try to get my 7th kill on the Pensacola here and we're up to 92,287 damage. And well, let's just say that it's pretty low, I'm not going to lie for a cracking video, or 6 kills too, it's pretty low. We're going to lower the cap there and try to go for this Pensacola so we can get out here as soon as possible. I believe the Pensacola is running his sonar, which is one of the reasons why he detected these torps just in time and turned out perfectly in order to avoid getting back to port. Of course, now the Yukikaze doesn't have the... or does it have? I don't think he has the... Pen angles to Citadel the Pensacola at this range. I don't believe so. I would have to double check with the stats on PC. But I mean, when you're talking about 127 millimeter guns, three by three, I mean, reload for my build is 8.7 or 8.3 seconds which is pretty bad I'm gonna take some shots here and I'm trying to get that Citadel but like I said it doesn't have that pan angle and the game finishes I mean eh, not a not a good game but not an if game which is which was literally why I'm uploading this game so late into the weekend 93,000 damage this was actually the first game after the update dropped got six kills there 2860 xp well seven torps kraken unleashed three or one fire seven flooding two citadels first blood devastating strike un kraken unleashed top of the leaderboard with six kills enemy team wasn't really ready to show its forces in the beginning of the video or the updates but anyways guys if you enjoyed this video it was a cluster video for the Yukikaze, but so a cracking video, so hmm. But anyways guys, if you enjoyed the video, leave a like. I'll see you guys Friday. <laughs>